The following presentation is rated Web G for general audiences. Previously on Welcome to the Family. I started getting severe, severe pain. Hey, you want to try something? I'm kind of scared, not going to lie. Turn it down! <laughs> we invited a, a couple of people. More people showed up than I had anticipated. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's that's kind of crazy. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. I'm a firm believer that you must at least have one person have a surprise birthday party at least one time in their lifetime. And LJ had never had one. So before we went to Belize, Amy, LJ's grandma, actually called Alexa. We had made all these preparations a month in advance and LJ had no idea. Grandma said, well, just bring him to the house. I go, has he ever been there? Yeah, but it's been a long time. So I said, okay, let's give it a shot. So we got everyone in the car, we got everybody together. We told LJ we had an event. So we all were kind of dressed for an event. Little did he know that when he put the camera in the car, Eric and I swapped it off and put it back into the studio. <laughs> because we just didn't want to have that big camera with us. But it was a little awkward because we ended up going to an apartment building right before the event. And he doesn't trigger. I honestly thought that we were going to an event. I don't know what the excuse was. And I'm like, oh, we got to pick up something real quick from Valerie's friend or whatever. Yo, I don't know. Jumping contest? Yes. No, 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 no. On three, everybody. And we're walking down the hallway. Wow, he's gonna catch us, he's gonna catch us. So we finally get to the door, and when we get to the door, he knocks. She opens the door, LJ's like, huh? He sees grandma. Uh, whoa. He had no idea. The whoa, whoa. You for your birth. What? Does he remember it? No, I don't remember. Looks behind it. He's just making sure that someone else wasn't gonna pop up. He was in shock. Are you serious? Come see your bedroom. They got me 100%. Like, I didn't know from the start what was going on. That's what you slept! Oh my god! Memories, huh? Oh, nice to see you. What? I'm so sorry. Oh my god! I can't believe you, man! He had no idea. Hey, everybody must be so hungry, huh? It's coming back. You know, I haven't been here in 10 years. So no, you was So much was going on. Oh my god! I guess if you see the swimming pool. That's me. That's you. You thought we were like taking you to dinner or something? No, I didn't think it had anything to do with me. I just thought it was a, it was some kind of expo and you wanted the kids to go. <laughs> Seriously, you guys sold me. You didn't see Eric put the camera back in the studio, right? No. No! I went to babysit that. Uh, dear Lord, thank you for bringing us together. Thank you for bringing Amy into our lives and uniting LJ, Jonathan, and his grandmother back again so that they can build new memories as now that Jonathan is an adult. LJ's grandmother is so kind and loving. It's really sweet to see everything she had laid out. She had prepared dinner. It was a homemade delicious meal. Happy birthday, dear Jonathan. Happy birthday oh my to God. you. Why are you so cute? <laughs> no icing. It's an apple. Oh my God. Cake. You're the icing. Does it look much like a birthday cake? You got to see so much of her personality and how much she really loves LJ. Thank you so much. Jonathan. You've fight more this year than you've done that time. I'm not gonna lie, I got a little emotional because I mean it was really cool just to like really go back in time and like get old memories and it was a trip, that's for sure. So this is my abuela. Which is her mom? Yeah, it's her mom. She never knew English, I never knew Spanish and we would just totally <laughs> just like have full blown out conversations. <laughs> it's real neat to see LJ kind of, you know, take a trip down memory lane. He got a little choked up here and there. Cause you know, it's real neat to see stuff from when you're kids and sort of just reminisce. You have no idea how happy this made me. It's part of it. Thank you so much. You're welcome so much. It was such a great surprise. And it was awesome because he really didn't see it coming. I think those are the best ones. So thankful that my grandma and the team got together and did something for me. However, we have one more birthday in a couple days. Of course, Eric was no exception. We had to give Eric his surprise birthday party a couple days later. Because he was turning, I'm not allowed to say, 31. He has no idea we're coming. Is it going to be like your surprise? Apparently he's been cleaning all day and hanging out. But I called him like, yeah, you know, I'm pretty much doing the same thing. Hanging out with who? <laughs> 
So we picked up food and cake and drinks and chips. We, of course, had to bring all of our dogs with us because he loves the babies. However, Eric has these gates and no security guard. So you can't even talk to the guard to try to let you get in. So we started dialing numbers. We're trying to do a surprise party for him. We got two cars here. Is there any way you can let us in? And I was like trying to call everybody but Hi, Eric. Hi, I'm trying yes. to surprise a friend. Can you let us in so we can go to his apartment? Uh, no Nobody's buzzing her in. <laughs> Nobody knows what the I'm talking about. Like everything. Excuse me, do you have your card? <laughs> However, a person came behind us. Oh wait, wait, this may work. We might have a key card here. Alex gets out of the car and tells the lady what we're about to do and she can see that, you know, we're not gonna rob the place. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay then. Oh my, oh, oh my god, the gate. Oh my god. Okay, you gotta wait for her? It's closing. I was just having a low-key birthday. Nothing really all that special. <laughs> and middle of the afternoon, I hear this thunderous knock at my door. And I look at the peephole and there's black, which is kind of strange. I couldn't see anything. So I opened the door cautiously. Hello! Surprise! We're here! Happy birthday to you! A menagerie of people walk in. Thank you. That was awesome. surprised me with this great dinner and of course a delicious ice cream cake. You got some big pieces there, dude. You said you all- You know how to get to my heart. Oh. So there's a fun hashtag good to know here. If you guys recognize this parking lot, then you may have recognized it from our short film, Instrumental. My friend, I have to tell you, unfortunately, I, I'm not available today. I'm out of the office. Instrumental is a short film we did last year in November for the 48 Hour Film Project and we actually used Eric's apartment building and Eric's house for the actual film. You know, there are worse things. So if you keep your eyes peeled, there are a couple Easter eggs that you can actually see footage from the film and footage shot for the show, just, you know, different angles. One of the cool things that the BOA team loves to do is we like to play games. So we'll play charades or we'll play Pictionary or we'll play dominoes. Or... There's always a game to be played because we like having fun and competing against each other. <laughs> I'm not very good but it was fun. We enjoy spending time together and we enjoy our company. There's nothing better than having a team that feels like family. I'm Bert Oliva from Bold Worlds. Welcome to the family show. And what I, what? Yeah, it's kind of difficult when you talk to yourself. So what I want you to do is I want you to comment, subscribe, forward, repost, do whatever it is that you're gonna do to make sure no one misses this show. But do it now. Do, do, what are you waiting for? Do it now.